Looking to improve your skills? Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website jujitsupedia.com for thousands of videos in judo, jujitsu, and wrestling, all levels beginner to advanced. Okay, welcome back to Jiu-Jitsupedia. <clears throat> We're gonna look at uh, safe attacks, safe takedowns for Jiu-Jitsu, meaning if you lunge and take leg attacks, a lot of times what happens, you get stuck underneath and then you can find yourself partner spinning your back or getting uh, good attacks, guillotine chokes, dart chokes. So <clears throat> one of the things that we're gonna do is when you hit a duck under, it's real safe because you can spin directly to the back because you pivot and you're not lunging straight at the legs, you're actually going under the arm and then pivoting. So you end up facing the same direction your partner. So we've shown some different duck unders. This one's gonna be a misdirection duck under, so it's gonna be a little bit more advanced. So first of all, this common collar tie, I cannot escape this position unless I create a little bit of space. So I'm pushing away with my left arm and I create some space to grab that wrist. When I grab that wrist, I drop my head and I just kind of pummel the hand off my head. So it's almost like you're kind of shucking the hand off. So in close, it's gonna to be tough for me to do, but if I push away, I can grab the hand, slide it off my head, and I can re-pummel right into a nice underhook position. So because my head's on this side, my partner's gonna feel the threat of the attack on this side. So that's why this misdirection works. So I have a good inside control of my outside arm, my left arm. So I drop my body and take a little step, and that's the reaction I'm looking for, that little drop back. From here, my partner's squared up. I'm gonna kind of U myself underneath, and then throw my, step my heel up, and then pivot. When I pivot, I can bring my partner down and look to start trapping feet, look to start breaking the elbows down, looking for my controls, a lot of different options as far as control once you get to the ground. Okay, so I have this kind of initial grip on the shoulder. I push away, and now I can control that wrist. Slide my head down, palm on the hand, close the distance. Take that little step, and now I pummel under, and I shoot to the opposite side. So my head pops up on this side. I step my heel up. I still have the waist here. And I turn, and I pull through. And now I'm looking for different setups, attacks, controls. Okay, so it's really important that you create enough space to peel the hand. Once you peel the hand, you're rolling and now you're coming and you're taking the space away. I do not want to lose this position, so I'm pulling in tight here, keeping my partner glued, almost like I'm using my forehead right in the trap, keeping that real tight, taking a little step and dropping my head down, pivoting through, bringing my partner inside, and now I'm in a good position to start trapping and looking for my breakdowns. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and please go to our website, jujitsupd.com, where there's thousands of videos in judo, jujitsu, and wrestling and plenty of curriculums for you to learn from.